accessible value is a value on which customs duty will be levied already we have worked out some problems on customs duty where accessible value was readily given oh, in these types of problems we are going to work out the method of uh, we are going to work out the calculation of accessible duty uh, the value of accessible duty we are going to calculate so what will be the accessible value how much we are going to uh, how much uh, what and all amounts you have to levy under accessible value which we have to consider which we are not supposed to consider all those things we are going to see in today's class now uh, first of all accessible value means it is a, a group of different expenses which are incurred in manufacturing and bringing the product from foreign country to india like for example uh, we are going to order you know, some indian person is going to order a computer now computer in the sense uh, now it is ordered from foreign country now when it is ordered from foreign country various expenses will incur for those people now if it is a uh, one single branded product then uh, you are going to a foreign you, know, you are ordering from a foreign country in the sense you are they are from one shop they will uh, buy and they'll give it to you if it is assembled they have various works like they have to bring various products together license fees royalty fees all those different duties fees is everything they have to pay after paying everything then they will get the value of the product then from foreign country to india it is to be brought maybe through airways or waterways or whatever it is roadways railways so again expenses will incur and various other expenses will incur packing uh, labeling branding all those expenses so all these expenses are added together and they will charge you a particular amount of money right so that money or that mrp or that or that price what you are paying to them is called as accessible value so this is a format for accessible value calculation quickly we'll see to this and based on this we are supposed to solve some problems now uh, these are the various items to be added to the purchase price of the goods now what items to be added and how it is to be dealt that we are going to see in today's class now purchase price of the goods see now for example whatever uh, product is to be brought from foreign country to india it is to be mainly it is to be manufactured to manufacture the thing they need raw material so normally raw materials value are considered here so one product will be purchased or a raw product will be purchased some adjustments will be done and then it will be sent to india now that concept itself we are going to see here so purchase price of the goods or raw material purchased to this these many items are supposed to be added so these items to be added what are those items buying commission cost of packing cost of material provided by the importer that means i am export importing something some product uh, and i am supplying some products those items royalty and license fees share to supplies and sale so all these are the different kind of these are the some sample items which we can consider to be added along with this now we are paying commission for them uh, then uh, sometimes from other raw material is to be purchased license fee is to be paid or maybe oh, yeah uh, um, patent charges copyright charges all those amounts will be added here so all those expenses all those amounts which will be considered in the product and because of which products value will increase all those items will be Uh, considered here we'll write it here in first amount column the total will come in outer column and uh, it is to be and uh, whatever total whatever we get that total is known as fob price fob means freight on board value or freight on board charges that is uh, before exporting the product to india 
from foreign country they will bring it to the port of uh, a foreign country or to the aeroplane of airport of the foreign country so when you are bringing there till there what expenses incurred all those expenses are considered here so those expenses because of which products value is added uh, value addition is done or some improvement is done so then in such situations these concepts are supposed to be uh, considered yes then uh, fob price it is freight on board charge to this value you are going to add two expenses one is transportation charges one more is cost of insurance and both the items will be given in the problem yeah if it is not given then 20% of fob price you you are going to consider as transportation charges similarly 1.125% of the fob value will be considered as insurance charges when uh, we are doing this when it is not given now sometimes it will be given in case of road transport or in case of sea transport waterways if in those cases if it is given that value itself directly we are going to write here directly we are going to uh, write here when it is uh, given in the problem uh, uh, that is land or sea route roadways railways waterways but when it comes to air transport so if it is not given also 20% we are considering uh, that means some uh, sometimes some amount is given it may not be 20% of fob in that case that amount itself we are going to write not r on r in calculation we are not going to do yes so that is in case of roadways and waterways but when it comes to air transport air transportation remember this is the adjustment only for uh, air transport in case of air transport it is 20% of fob or actual amount paid whichever is less yeah so if uh, when it comes to air uh, air transport this adjustment we should remember 20% and the amount paid these two things are compulsory here if amount is given that we will write uh, if amount is not given 20% will calculate it yeah and we, uh, we are calculating and we are writing but here how it comes is if it is given or not given 20% of fob as well as actual amount both we are comparing and the lowest one we are going to consider as expenses that is transportation expenses uh, one more addition what it comes is insurance cost of insurance uh, whatever amount of insurance premium paid by the uh, buyer or seller will be given in the problem so when it is given in the problem we will consider like that only if it is not given you are supposed to uh, do it very quickly uh, in the sense uh, either you have to do or you have to see that the work is done yeah so these are the expenses one is 20% of fob and exact expenses in case of airways otherwise the given amount Uh, will be considered if amount is given if amount is not given 70 uh, this one 20% of fob price we will consider insurance also 1.125 we are going to consider or if agent is there he also can do this so these are the things this is a method how assessable value is to be calculated so it is 1.125 in case of uh, no, uh, in case of uh, an unavailability of data 1.125 of fob price when pro in the problem amount is not given then uh, one more thing is 20% fob or exact expenses whichever is Uh, less so that is other expenses so all these things are to be added and the final answer is known as assessable value and on assessable value we are going to calculate customs duty customs duty will be calculated on uh, same this uh, assessable value itself so these are the things understand the concept write down the format pause the video write down the format If you have any doubts, we can you can ask from the next class. We are going to solve the problems related to this.